Good day YouTube, this is just another fun and quick video on the latest release of Ubuntu Studio. So 19.04 latest release and as you can guess based on Ubuntu 19.04 but there are some key differences and uh, in terms of functionality and what's going on here. So starting off straight off the bat you will see although it's Ubuntu 19.04 it's actually running an XFCE desktop environment. Now Ubuntu Studio it's, it's not something that I've really looked into before but it is interesting and it does serve a, a fairly good purpose here. It's basically a distribution that provides a collection or selection of open source applications available for multimedia creation. So you name it you've got uh, you've got video production, graphic design, audio production, uh, let's see, media playback, which is pretty standard, uh, photography, graphics, all sorts of things there. So basically, yeah, you've got that whole collection of software pre-installed, which is good to see. Because some of these applications, I didn't even know actually existed. Check out all these audio applications, just nuts. Audacity is obviously a fairly obvious one that's there. Or Ardua, which I've heard of before. Uh, lots of bits and pieces, which is really, really cool to see. But uh, we've got the XFCE desktop environment running, which is really good uh, there as well. But uh, let's have a look to see the file manager, which I think I opened this a moment ago. And yeah, there it is. So it's the Thuna file manager, so very lightweight as well. Surprisingly, they were probably going with a lightweight uh, distribution so that they can uh, you can handle all the software that may need to be run at any given time. So uh, let's see. If we were to open up a terminal here and uh, see some specs, in fact, let's see if we've got the system monitor. No, or the task manager, oh, there it is. And let's have a look. <laughs> now this is a little bit ugly and I couldn't read this to save my life, surprisingly. CPU of what, I don't know, memory of what. So let's go a little bit old school, old fashioned, what I used to do with this video. So uh, starting off, let's have a look at the kernel, as we might guess, the latest and greatest, at least in terms of Ubuntu, one of the later kernels, which is always nice to see. Uh, let's just check the RAM and yeah, so some, in, uh, yeah, applications aren't installed, but that's not uh, a specific multimedia application. Let's just try, uh, have a look at the RAM here so far, just on boot up. And, oh, this eludes me, this little one here, but we'll try that command again. And there we go. So 691 megabytes, roughly 700 meg straight off the bat. There is really nothing else open here that you can see. So basically, uh, yeah, a bit of a bit of a follow-up in a in a multimedia sense for uh, Ubuntu. Now, if you are a multimedia producer, probably obviously Windows is the best choice still for you with all the uh, the proprietary exe or executables there for you. But if for whatever reason you do not want to use uh, Windows, of which there's many people obviously out there, that's part of what this channel is all about. You do have the option to, to go along here. You'll you'll see some of the familiar programs, OpenShot Video Editor, which I use from time to time for this uh, for this channel here. And let's see, we've got a couple of basic games, Education, LibreOffice. Wouldn't worry too much about there. Some of the standard applications that you would be looking for there as well, Internet, Media Playback, and uh, yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Um, I would say it, it's it's quite good for audio production based on what I can see there. A few bits and pieces for graphic design there too. It might even have some web uh, authoring tools there too, is my best guess. Now, one thing I usually say about most of my videos is I generally don't talk about software because, you know, why would I? You can install anything on a, any given uh, Linux distribution for the most part, but this seems to tie it all together, which is pretty cool. It's also using the, the stock standard uh, icon for Ubuntu 19.04, but it's got a cool different uh, theme, blue theme to it, which I really like. And the, head, the the cans on the uh, on the disco dingo seem to really fit for what this operating system is all about. So super fun and quick video there on Ubuntu Studio 19.04. Uh, like I said, I haven't done this one before, but uh, yeah, it's always worth a shout out. So go Ubuntu Studio. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.